doing up there.
story. <laughs> Not too close to me. really slow now. No, probably another minute. Well, a couple minutes.
Charlie, no, 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 wait for me. Nice. Nice to be out. Sure is. Yeah, it's like late spring already. Hmm? It's like late spring already. This is a full month before that spring trip. And there's no, like we might get, we're going to get some, well, I don't know, an inch tomorrow night or something. We're not going to get anything sig significant. No, I might go up into the teens by the weekend. Better than the last couple we did though. <laughs> Wait for the instruction button. Stay. Freedom. Kelly over here if you want a drink. Want a drink?
set of like really pretty little, it's fed by um, Sly Lake and then above it, Kelly found a tennis ball <laughs> in the water. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Kelly, I'm going, pup. Hurry up. <laughs> Good girl.
Not gonna get it. Callie, look, what are you doing? What are you doing there?
was not easy because it was in three pieces. I hate taking these big trees down. I just really wanted them in the forest. Like I love a mature forest. I love mature trees, but I think I've, well, I know I've mentioned several times before, but this eight and a half acre section of my property is more upland than the majority around the cabin, which is more coniferous. This is more of a deciduous forest here, so it's why I have all the sugar maples. So this is my sugar bush. But it's mainly, if you look around, oak, sugar maple, yellow birch, beech, uh, a couple of cherries, and then hemlock forest right there. 150 years ago when this would have been homesteaded, maybe a little bit longer than that, it um, looked like to me like it was clear cut and then made into pasture land. I found an old horseshoe and I found some old wire fence in the forest. I like attached the trees and under the soil. So I'm pretty sure they probably just had cattle or something on here. Maybe it was, I don't know, maybe there was a homestead. I don't see any foundations anywhere nearby. Anyway, that's my guess on the age of the forest then, that it was clear cut 150 years ago. Probably stayed in farmland for quite a while, I would say. Because I don't think the majority of these trees, well, I know the majority of these trees are, are fairly young. The problem is that the biggest, most majestic and the mature trees are dying. So all of the beaches have, have contracted that uh, beech bark disease, so they're all dying. Which is why you saw me taking them down around here and around where I had the maple syrup thing earlier in the winter. So they're all coming down. And then I've got these beautiful oaks. This was probably a couple of big oaks there, but other than that, probably the biggest oak on the property, on any of the uh, two properties. So I wanted to keep it. Well, tons of acorns on the ground, but the reason it was putting out uh, tons of acorns is because it's dying. And that's like the last effort to reproduce. So the last couple of years, it's had like bumper crop of acorns trying to get some seed in the ground. Um, anyway, I wanted to leave it. The workshop, of course, is right here. One of the sections was leaning towards the workshop, and as I expand the buildings this way, that would be leaning. There would be no way to take it down without hitting something, especially if I do something with this platform right here, which I think is going to be lumber storage or even a kiln or something. Anyway, the reason I knew this was in bad shape is because it had two main splits this one and the two up there and you can see the kind of split coming all the way down the tree and splits here too actually and that was actually I could see now that it was filling with water and then ice was expanding so this section here as I was cutting the tree that section fell right off and I was aware of it so I was staying back a little bit from that and uh, good thing because it fell off before the rest of it look at that split all the way down in there all that it was hanging by these fibers here so it split all the way down into the ground but look at that rot oh yeah look at it. completely rotten frozen solid just ice water getting in there freezing We've got radial cracks all the way through here but what I'll do is I'll get a cut actually beautiful wet spot here at the bottom of this hill all the water flowing down here and all the nutrients so this is the richest soil on the whole property which is why I have some big trees here a couple beaches there or maples big beach my biggest maples right there so it was uh, benefiting from all the moisture and nutrients so the actual growth rings are pretty far apart it actually grew a lot compared to the other trees in a fairly short period in fact it's not that old like one two three say four rings per inch and almost right down to its younger age and what that's 12 inches 48 50 60 years maybe 60 70 years maybe that's the age of all these trees and it's just got such a uh, boost from all the moisture and the nutrients anyway I'll get a, a better slice of that and then I'll let you know but like I said, it had to come down. It was going to come down either on me or on the building at some point. So better to take it down in a controlled setting like this. 
Um, it went exactly where I wanted it to go. I didn't think it, it didn't it didn't want to go that way at all. But I did get it to go, and it didn't do too much damage to that maple. So I'm hoping that maple's fine too. Anyway, I got a lot of work to clean this up. Whatever sections are solid, I'll mill into lumber. Uh, the branches will be firewood. Uh, the small branches will be wood chips for making charcoal and for the garden. So it's going to it's going to be sequestered essentially right where right here on the property. None of this is leaving other than what I end up burning, but most of that will end up getting chipped, I think. So yeah, all this uh, carbon that people are worried about be milling it into lumber and making it um, work in one of the buildings. So it's going to be here forever, hopefully. And that the uh, wood chips are going to slowly decompose into the ground and, and create soil and nutrients for the next generation of trees and plants, other plants. Anyway, sad to see it go, but glad to see it go on the other hand. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Well, that tree's not the healthiest either.